Hello everyone, welcome to Oda class. My name is Sushant Srivastava and today we're gonna do the most important question on trigonometry. So guys, trigonometry is a very important chapter for 10th standard. Not just for 10th standard, actually it becomes very valuable for 11, 12th mathematics as well. Because in 11th and 12th, we're gonna study at least five segments of trigonometry where we talk about trigonometric equations, identity, inverse trigonometric functions. So many things are there in 11th and 12th standard. So here I have collected two most important questions for you board exam. Now these two questions are actually based on trigonometric identities and I'm just gonna make you recall those two those three identities which are actually helpful to solve these questions. So let's just have a quick recall of those identities. So the first identity that we have is sine square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1. Now it looks very simple but in questions it becomes very complicated when you use it. I will show you one example in today's videos itself. Now second identity that we have is 1 plus tan square theta equal to secant square theta and then similar to that we have 1 plus cot square quad square theta equal to cosecant square theta. Now let's see what two questions I have selected to, for today's video. So the first question actually is a little bit more difficult question than the usual one. It is actually of Olympiad level and here not just trigonometric functions are being used actually a theory of recursion will also be used which you're gonna study in 11th and 12th but I'll help you out with the solution of this question now only. So let's read the question if tn is equal to c sine to the power n theta plus cos to the power n theta so this is one valuable information then they are looking for this value which is t3 minus t5 upon t1 is equal to which of this okay so there are four options we have to find out this value is equal to what now notice that here if you see 3 then you have 5 and 1 so 1 plus 2 is 3 and 3 plus 2 is 5 right so something related to a difference of 2 will work over here and the options are also a bit similar kind so let's just start working on the solution so when I talk about tn which is already given as sine to the power n theta cos to the power n theta Similarly, I can work on Tn plus 2 and why I'm working on Tn plus 2 because in the question itself we had a difference of 2. So if this is n, I'm working on n plus 2. So this will become sine to the power n plus 2 theta plus cos theta to the power n plus 2. Now similarly, I can work on Tn plus 4 as well and that will be sine theta to the power n plus 4 plus cos theta to the power n plus 4. Now guys they are looking for difference of t3 and t5 so that is difference of uh, successive at a difference of 2 and subtraction of these two. So here I'm gonna do the same I'm gonna take the difference of these two so you get tn plus 2 minus tn plus 4 as so if I subtract so you get sine theta to the power n plus 2 as it is similarly cos theta to the power n plus 2 and these things will come in with the minus sign so you get minus of sine theta to the power n plus 4 minus cos theta to the power n plus 4. Now what I can do from these two terms I can easily take sine theta to the power n plus 2 common similarly from these two terms I can take cos theta to the power n plus 2 common and you get sine theta to the power n plus 2 out and inside the bracket you will get 1 here and sine square theta here so you get 1 minus sine square theta similarly for the second one I can take cos theta to the power n plus 2 common and inside the bracket I'm gonna get 1 minus cos square theta now we all know what is 1 minus sine square theta similarly we all know what is 1 minus cos square theta so I'm gonna plug in those two values so you get sine theta to the power n plus 2 1 minus sine square theta will become cos square theta plus similarly here if I walk on cos theta to the power n plus 2 and 1 minus cos square theta will be sine square theta now from these two terms I can take sine square theta and cos square theta common so this will get you sine square theta cos square theta out and you will be left with sine theta to the power n 
plus cos theta to the power n. Now guys, in the question itself, it was given sine to the power n theta or sine theta to the power n plus cos theta to the power n as tn. So you get this quantity as tn, which I'm gonna write over here. So you get tn, my, TN plus two minus tn plus four as sine square theta into cos square theta into tn. Now this tn I can bring down and why I'm doing this because one side everything depends on n and the other side it will be free of n. So this will give us some useful information. Let me do that. So you get tn plus 2 minus tn plus 4 upon tn is equal to sine square theta cos square theta. So as I was saying this side there is no n involved. So even if I change n value this side will remain same. That is if I substitute n equal to 1 you get t3 minus t5 upon t1 as sine theta cos theta whole square. Similarly if I substitute n equal to 2 you get t4 minus t6 upon t2 as sine theta because there is no n so this quantity this side will not change at all and similarly I can substitute n equal to 3 you get t5 minus t7 upon t3 and this will also be equal to sine theta cos theta whole square and you can keep on continuing this doing these things again and again you will get a lot of results but for the question if I notice this value is equal to sine theta cos theta whole square and so is this value so these two will actually be equal because they are equal to the same value and you get t3 minus t5 upon t1 equal to t5 minus t7 upon t3 which was one of the option in the question so you can say option A will be correct. So guys did you understand this kind of question and this was actually a very difficult question this can be there in any of the Olympiad and you can easily solve with the given method. If you have any doubt, you can always put it in the comment box. I'm going to move on to the next question. So the, for the next question, I have collected a very usual question which appears again and again in the board exam where they talk about sine theta plus cos theta as one value and then sine cube theta plus cos cube theta as another value. They talk about the relation between these two. They might give you sine to the power 4 theta plus cos to the power 4 theta and then they talk about the relation between variable. So here I have selected sine theta plus cos theta is p, secant theta plus cosecant theta is q and then you need to develop a relation between p and q. So what you can do, you can work on each and every, both of us, uh, bo both of these two, one by one. So we're gonna work secant theta plus cos theta as q given. So let's convert this in one by sine and one by cos. So you get one by cos theta plus 1 by sine theta as q. Now if I take LCM, what do you get? You get sine theta plus cos theta upon sine theta into cos theta as q. Now guys, sine theta plus cos theta is already given as p, so I can substitute that and you get p upon sine theta cos theta as q or you could write sine theta into cos theta as p by q. Now this is one information that we have gained from this equation. Now similarly what I'm going to do, I'm going to work on this part now. So this is sine theta plus cos theta which is given as p. Now we all know there is one famous identity which involves sine square theta and cos square theta. But in this expression we just have sine theta and cos theta. So to use that identity I'm going to square both sides. So when you do that, you get a plus b whole square which will become a square plus b square plus 2ab and the other side it will be p square. Now this value will become 1 and this value over here we have already worked on. So you get 1 plus 2p by q as p square. Now if you take LCM you get q plus 2p is equal to p square q or I can take this over this side and I can take some q common. So you get q times p square minus 1 is equal to 2p and this is what we were supposed to prove. So this is a standard problem which can be there in your final board exam. I'm going to make more of these kind of videos. If you guys have understood these two problems, 
Don't forget to like this video and do subscribe to Oda class for more such videos. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.